Okay, my name is Rico Anderson, and I'm playing Boris. Boris is the very bratty son of the main bad guy, Barada. Um, he's, he's someone who really wants to prove himself in the way that the Siphon um, do. The Siphon being the race of beings that me, Boras, and my father, Barada, are a part of. Um, so yeah, you know, he wants to prove himself. It's it's part of their way, and um, he's not being given that opportunity. And he feels like he's ready. His father feels like he's not. Father son feud even goes universal. Have yes. you done this type of full head prosthetic makeup before? Not this fully. Um, one that I did do did not involve four hours of makeup. So. <laughs> this, this in essence, is my first time, I would say. You know? And how would you rate it? <sighs> Fun. Um, very educational. Seeing the process is, is very interesting. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's part of the, the fun that, that is part of acting. And it allows you to uh, explore different ways of portraying your character. And mm -hmm. it, it just... It's it's cool. It's just cool. Do you find the makeup to be a hindrance to bring to getting your performance out? Are you aware that there's makeup on you? Or do you push through it? What is your process for performing in prosthetics? Well, after a while, you you're not aware of it because you know you know after a few minutes or even in some cases hours, it becomes just a part of you. So you know after you know and and you and you get used to what's what what is on you and what you have to do in order to bring out the performance because the prosthetics are glued onto our to our skin it does allow us to be as animated as we want to be and have the prosthetics follow us so with that said we still have to bring out the character in ways that maybe we would normally do if we were just you know wearing our natural face the eyes play a big part in something like that um, if your facial expressions are, are are something that you know you're normally used to toning down because it is film, it becomes very useful in a situation like this, because that in essence is all you have, in 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 some in some respects. Both our characters, Baras uh, Baras and Barada, we both have these teeth, these uh, the these really sharp teeth that. In order for them to stay in our mouths, we have to like put them in water where they 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 get soft. But once we put them in our mouths, we have to mold the stuff in the back so it could you know it'll stay. And it does stay, but sometimes it still gets loose. So we're fighting with that. <laughs> you know, we're dealing with the fact that you know we have to really perform through our eyes, and and it it, it becomes a great exercise in, in acting. So it really helps in terms of just being able to expand yourself as a performer. Are you a, an actor by trade? I am, yes, yes. Um, Excellent, and how long have you been at it? I would say overall, ever since I was 11. Um, I've done, I, start, I started in the theater, done a lot of theater, um, a lot of independent film, coming from the Bay Area, Bay Area San Francisco Bay Area, that's a huge uh, market for actors. It's a great school for just learning the trade. But eventually you have to make that move, you know, depending on what you want to do. If you want to get into more film and TV, you have to move to L.A. So I would say in L.A., Los Angeles, professionally, I've been doing it for about seven years now. As, as a performer, as a fan, walking onto set, Walter Koenig, Tim Russ, yeah. all those people, how does that affect you? It's a great exercise for an actor to really control that inner urge to squeal like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. So, so you struggle with that. You you kind of want to burst into that, but you know it's not so much of a struggle. I mean, but you 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 know you 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 grew up watching you know these 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 actors and the shows that they're doing, and you know you you've seen them in the incarnations from the shows to the movies, and you know you, as an actor, you know of course you always say, hey, I could do that too. When you see the people in the prosthetics, you're like. I want to do that. I could do that too. And then you get the opportunity to actually do it. And it's, it's almost like you're stepping into the TV, like you're stepping into the movie. And it's just, um, it's just a blessing. You know, it's a, 
it's a blessing it's a dream come true it's a full circle whatever you want to call it it's just it's cool to be able to chew up the scenery with the people that you you grew up watching admiring and and in some cases wanted to be like Ready, Tara? Yes. and every quiet here we go and action here we go and action <laughs>